Hello, my fellow Spuds, and welcome back to another episode of Card Survival Tropical Island. I was going to do some more work, but suddenly this popped up, and I thought I had to get that on the recording. So, we've uh, just got up to the level where we've unlocked a bunch of blueprints. Uh, specifically, the table, the wooden bed, which is a really, really nice bed to have. We've also unlocked composite bow and a pottery wheel, which I don't know what it does, but I'm presuming it makes it a bit easier to make pottery. Let's get the pottery wheel. That sounds fun. So today, like I said, we are going to try and get an enclosure for our little birdie friend that we found. We've got quite a lot of work to do before we actually get that, but it would be quite fun. The other thing is now that it's not the dry season, I think it would be quite fun to go exploring, proper investigating of the surrounding lands, because we haven't discovered half of the places on this island, and it would be fun just to go out and do something just a little bit different. And that's uh, let's start making up this thing. Right, so we've built that bit. Right, we need uh, bricks. That's fine, because it's now the wet season. We don't need to worry about that. We can just go get mud straight away. Let's go get the shovel, and then we can harvest a bit more for our time. There we go. Lovely. That's 12. That should do. i get some bananas as well. Yeah, we need some more food. Oh, <gasps> dead partridge. Yay. More food for us. I was wondering where all our food was. Of course, it's in our clay cooler that we made last episode. So that should be preserving stuff pretty well. It is, actually. That's nice. I'm liking that. This was a good addition. It'll be really nice once we've got the cellar as well, because that will add a whole extra layer of food preservation. But I think we're a little bit off that yet. Build that. And we just need another 17 long sticks. Jesus. Okay. So this is going to take quite a long time, but I think it'll be worth it in the end once it is done. Let's keep feeding this partridge. Keep our little guy happy. There we go. Right. Pottery wheel got no idea what this does i've never built it before uh we'll leave it for the time being but it would be nice to get that eventually right now we could unlock i think the table if we get the table and the bed that will make our base that much nicer snacky 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 i might just keep chopping down trees and i'll come back in a sec once we've got all of what we need to make the enclosure because this is going to take a long time Right then, I think that might be all we need. It is an hour and a half. It's getting a bit cloudy. We've got an enclosure. Let's go in here. Oh, so we just release in the enclosure. Oh, we've unlocked a partridge feeder. I think that might be better. And when we can carry on the table in the morning. Uh, so do we have anything to feed this little guy? Let's just harvest the palm bush and then we can get a seed. Oh, irrigations. <gasps> we got to herbology 100. Oh, amazing. Irrigation, was it? Irrigation. Water plants automatically from reservoirs must be activated from a water reservoir. That's very cool. So we can have automatic watered crop plots. <gasps> nice. It would be nice to get some crop plots done. So I might look at doing that now that the uh, the dry season's over. Feed this little guy. There we go. And we just need to remember to feed him until we've got the partridge feeder done. We just need to feed him every day, basically. And I think we get a chance to get eggs from him now that we've got an enclosure. So that's nice. We could make some clay up. We can't make clay now. That's fine. Because I think it might be quite nice to get a salt bed down. Now that we've actually got time, we can just build it on the bay. And I don't think it requires that much from what I vaguely remember when I tried to bake it. I think like 12 mud bricks. We can easily make that. That wouldn't take much at all. Okay, and let's have a proper sleep. Oh, we haven't been so happy in a long time. Look at that. And heavy rain. Nice. And we've got the partridge feeder. So we can make this. We just need, oh, three long sticks, four cord, and six palm weave. That's not that bad. I could do that. Just do that. And do that. I've only got two, but we can make some more. And get the cord. And that should be everything we need for the partridge feeder. There we go. Two hours. Oh, we've unlocked bird feed. It's a whole other thing. Food for partridge is ideal for use on the partridge feed it allows to feed more birds with less food it can be made of rice flour prawns bugs bees almonds and most seeds okay so for the time being could we just pop that in there that helps a little bit it might feed him uh, over time that's not a problem and i think let's go back to the wetland i would like to explore the deep jungle a little bit more okay uh escape we do not want to fight a boar we're in, in no position just to clarify we won't be in a position really until we have like tons of armor Boars will just destroy you. You might think that it's like... Because most games, it's like boars are like one of the first things you hunt. Yeah, you don't. You don't. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> uh, charge. Flint spear. Okay, we've got a partridge. Puff balls. 
how long? 15 minutes. And one more. Okay, we got to 50%. Do one more cheeky one. Okay. All right, let's go back. I just want to keep exploring that. We found bees, and I, I just want to keep exploring to find all our stuff. The other thing is, if you look at our journal, you can see facing destiny, some of the determination to choose your path. This is how you complete the game, basically. If you're like the hunter or you start off with like a preset character, you have to fulfill certain requirements. For our character, because we're a custom character, all we need to do is either discover all the locations and explore the island, or we level up our skills. So we're actually not that far off of getting to the point when we can choose our path. And once we get to 100, that's what that does. We can then either create a raft and escape the island, or we can try and make the island our home. We have to survive for, I think, a minimum of 120 days. I don't know whether that's from the start of when you've chosen your path, or whether that's just in total. And then you have to make your house 100% comfort. Uh, I think at the moment we're about 50, so we're quite a long way off that. But I'm happy to do either of these if we survive that long. Uh, so let me know in the comments below what you'd prefer me to do. I'm more than happy to try and escape. To do that, we may need to make a raft. We need to get loads of supplies and just kind of get ourselves prepared before we set off to make the island our home. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, it's just keep doing what we're doing, slowly fixing up our house, making it look nice and making ourselves comfortable. And then we make a little sign that says home sweet home and we complete the game so whatever you want to do i'm more than happy to oblige i'm more than happy to do another series as well on this where maybe we try and do the opposite who knows but for now let's go inside i'm going to compose a little bit really hoping still to unlock another tune but we haven't done that yet and we've got some partridges that i need to butcher so we might as well do them while we're here so let's butcher these birds up chuck them in there nice and I think we're pretty good for food anyway, so let's have a quick drink. And I think for now, what we could do is put some clothes back on. That might help. From what people have told me, we should be able to fix our clothes up uh, if we get a needle and we get some thread, which we can do from snake grass. So let's try that. And that means that we don't need to constantly make new clothes. So repair. That's very cool. I wish I knew that before. <laughs> Fix up the shoes. Okay, oh, and we're, it's pretty late. Uh, let's, have a, let's have a nap. Back to the deep, dark jungle to have a look and see if we can find anything else here. Right, here we go, deep, dark jungle. Bananas, please, thank you. Jungle Highlands, so we've got another way of getting to the jungle highland. So if we go to there, we could then go to the eastern or western highland, presumably. That's a cool way of doing it. Nice, another partridge. Oh! <gasps> Secret Valley. Hello. We're very hot, though. We we'll have to be careful about that. Explore. Stones. Oh! <gasps> rice. Uh, do we have a knife? No. So that's how you get rice. We saw that previously for feeding the bird. Let's harvest some lemongrass before we go. Okay, back to the deep jungle. Okay, we're coming back here with a knife, then, if we can harvest that. Get some rice. Maybe we can get... Can we grow it? Um, we must be able to. Get like a rice paddy. That'll be fun. Let's check on our bird. <gasps> We've got an egg. Hello, hello. Right, so it doesn't really... It Definitely we need to get like bird feed proper. Oh, any sort of grain or coconut? Bananas? Or bugs? We can get bugs from the cave, can't we? So it might be worth getting some bugs. And then we could maybe get some of the... Uh, nuts from the westland that might be the cheapest way of doing it or bananas either way but we did get an egg another food source we don't have anything currently researching so let's finish off doing the table we're nearly there to get the leather pants so maybe let's try and do that that's enough to build the first bit right i've only got one cured skin do we have any skins currently being sorted no so we're just too short of making that that shouldn't be too hard play a simple tune we've unlocked the table so I'm not the wooden bed next then. And that's... It's a storm, isn't it? So let's do a proper sleep. Oh no, storm! Ah, oh, fish trap! <laughs> we have no luck with those fish traps. Did we pick up the knife? We did. Let's go back to the secret valley. I would like to try and get this rice. Because if we can farm that, that would be amazing. Right, harvest. Rice. Should thresh them to get grain. 
Trash. Ooh. Got rice grain. We are not the rice paddy. How long does that take? 12 hours. We're doing that, yeah. And um, each time we get four. Is it a rare find or can we find any more? Let's have a little search. Found some more. Good. Okay, let's harvest that. Right, so we've got eight rice. I think let's just go back. And we should be able to use rice to feed the bird, wasn't it? Get this bird feed. We could use rice and bugs. Okay, interesting. But we've still got some seeds on us, so let's uh, chuck that in there. That can feed it for the time being. And let's uh, thresh these rice. <gasps> we can do it at dark. Nice. S can soak in water and then boil to make it edible. <gasps> it just never goes off. Oh, amazing. And this doesn't go off. Can be used as fuel. It can be used as fuel as well or animal feed. Okay. Can we use it in traps? No. That's a shame. We can use the rice grain and that never goes off. There's a changing bait resets trap, so that might be good for the log one. Also potentially for the snare trap as well. Really, I should work on like another reservoir or a cistern. That might be good, especially if we if we ever do get to the next dry season, we're definitely going to need another one. And I would like to try and make some rice up before we go to sleep, because I think that would be quite fun. Okay, so one, four. There we go. And then we've got two rice that we can then pop into there. Potentially use them for rice paddies, I guess. Oh, Weston, I forgot about you. Let's talk to you. You're a shy one, aren't you? Guess we need some time to break rice. There we go. Egg fried rice. Rice water. What's that? Drinkable good for the stomach. Oh. And we unlocked a new recipe, which we haven't used the cooking pot at all this whole series. That's quite funny. Uh, look at all this food we could potentially be eating, and we're just like, nah, can't be bothered. <laughs> Egg fried rice sounds quite good, especially if we've got the partridge farm and we're getting eggs from that. Uh, so let's keep playing this. Eat this rice. Tasty rice. Oh, it fills us up quite a lot. I'm feeling full. Good. Chuck that in there. Okay, and let's have a proper sleep. Rice paddy then. We just need a shovel. Another shovel. Some soil, ash, and fertilizer. That seems quite straightforward. We should have all of that. And there should be plenty of manure in the grassland, because I leave it there all the time. Oh, only one. I thought we'd have more than that. Okay, well, let's keep exploring here, then. We still haven't fully explored here, either. Yeah, because we could do with either finding charge, flint spear. No. It'll be good to find... Oh, eastern grassland. Ooh, nice. Uh, the little weird things. Cause it said rotten food was a possibility. Like, that's it. Gastric pellet. So we got three from just one of them. If we can find one more, we can use that. We, go. Uh, we just need one more rotten food. Found a cave. All right for now. Might explore that a bit later. Gastric pellet. That's what I'm after. Thank you very much. And let's go back to the jungle. Because I want to make a rice paddy. Boom. Rice paddy. It's filling with water. Probably full of bacteria. Filled with unsafe water. Flooded fields can be used to grow large amounts of rice more effectively. Protect them from pests to ensure greater yield. Rice grain. We just do plant rice. Oh, it's done. It just needs to be filled with water. Oh, that's amazing. Right, we should probably build a couple of them then. Right, so we need to get this. So just four fertilizer. And fish counts as that. So we could just go get some fish and do it that way. Discover the cape. How do we make that? We need eight. Oh, we could make it already. Nice. Uh, if we've got this, maybe we need, like, mushroom bed? That might be good. Or nitre bed? Made by piling manure on a layer of clay to prevent seepage, adding lye. Don't you produce nitre crystals into salt, Peter? For dynamite. <laughs> uh, smells increase discomfort considerably. Fine. Okay, maybe not that, then. Uh, Mr. Birdie, I hope you're okay. I hope you like lemongrass. Oh, you were very hungry. We've got an egg, so that's something. Let's go to the western grass then. We can get some of those nuts, uh, crack them open. We can use that for bird feed, I think. We'll get some chilies as well while we're here. Uh, magic mushrooms. Mm, might leave them. <laughs> Not sure if I want to get demonetized for using magic mushrooms. Uh, rice paddy, rice paddy. So we just need a couple of manure. That's fine. We'll go into the mud hut, crack open them. So does this mean now... Uh, we can just make the bird feed. Yeah, cool. 
Okay, and now we should be able to go feed our little hungry bird. Let's quickly make this up first, if we can. Straw cape. A rainproof cape. That's amazing. Uh, that's actually going to be really, really useful. There we go. I wonder if that protects us from the sun as well. That might be quite nice. It's not very hungry, but that gets up 33%. So before it was like 1% for each bit of food. Now it's 33 for two. That's good. That's very, very good. Archer should be pretty happy with that. I think the only thing I really want to do before the end of the episode then is uh, get another rice paddy. What's that influenced by? Lonely. Ah, lonely. Where's Weston? Come here, Weston. Let's talk to you. Talking to you beats being alone, I guess. Uh, back into the chest you go. <laughs> oh, we treat our friends well here. Because we get the chilies, that makes our pain go down. Gain from eating chilies lowers appetite, body temperature, and hydration levels. Okay, so yeah, so it makes us thirsty at the cost of lower appetite and body temperature. That's interesting. I like that mechanic. Uh, have a proper sleep. We've explored all of that. I just wanted another gastric pellet thing. Flint spear. Oh, we got it. Come on, I just want, like... Okay, hunt it. Ah, uh, well, meh. Come on, just one. There we go. That's what I want. This should be enough, then, to make up the next rice paddy. We got the serrated club. That's nice. And... We just need to wait for it to rain then, and we'll chuck our... Do we have any remaining rice? I think I was an idiot and used it all. No, we didn't. No, we've got some. Okay, that's fine. Right, so we could just fill it up with the reservoir. Yeah, let's do that. Because it's going to rain, like, imminently, so that's fine. Put the rice in there. And we have a couple of rice paddies. We can do that. Good. Okay, so we've got two lots of rice growing. Hopefully we get quite a lot of stuff from that. Good. And I think I'm going to call it there, guys. So... I'm going to just go in. I'm going to play myself a funky tune. I'm going to try composing again one last time. <laughs> just to see if I unlock anything. I highly doubt I will. No, I don't know why I'm not. Because I should be able to get a few more tunes. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you like with him, please leave a like and subscribe. A massive thank you to all my Patreons. Drew, Clint, David, Mikhail, Len, Valiths, Lormy Lord, T Chaos, Toolman, Natural Cheese, Mikey Soundtrack, King of Thorns, Skylar Burchell, Charles, Mint Salad, Lats, and Brian. Thank you guys. I can't thank you guys enough. You guys are just all awesome. Thank you so, so much for all your support. But yeah, I'll see you next episode, guys. Cheers. Bye-bye.